Write that down. You need to know that. The number one need of a male is sex. I didn't say the number one mean need of a man. Because the man is spirit. A man needs God. But the number one need of a male is sex. Why? Because the male is designed by God to be a progenerator. That means the male is always full of seed. His purpose in life is to provide seed. That's why every male right now is carrying half a billion sperms in his loins right now. He's a seed carrier. So his number one purpose in life is to provide the genes or the generations or the generations, the genes for the generations. So a male is designed by God to produce generations. That's why when God wanted to create a nation, he never went to a woman, he went to a man. Because a man carries the generations. He said, Abraham, a nation shall come from you and Sarah will incubate the nation. So the man needs sex. The man doesn't want sex, he needs sex. Say he needs it. Men don't want sex, they need sex. A need is something that helps you function. A car doesn't want gasoline, it needs gasoline. If you don't have gasoline in the car, it stops functioning. A need is not a want. Men do not want sex. They need sex. Don't look at me so funny, lady. Say hallelujah, anyhow. I'm trying to give you some education so you don't get in trouble. Now, because a man, number one need is sex because he's driven by the divine purpose to produce seed. That's why men have no cycles. A man have no menstruation cycle. He's always ready. All the time, every day, all day, anytime, anywhere. The guy's ready. All the men say right on. Don't look so quiet on me now. Come on, brothers, help me out here. Help me out here now. So you see, a, a man ain't got to build up the sex. He's just ready. And he ain't got no cycle. So he's ready even when you are not ready. Creates a problem. Now most women who are married, especially you Christian women, <laughs> some of y'all think that your husband got a demon. What's wrong with you, man? You had it last night, this morning again? What's wrong with you? And yesterday you had it, day before? You're sick, man. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to take you to Pastor Matthew and cast out this nymphomaniac demon. You are full of the devil. And so, you take your husband down to the, to, the, to the office, you make an appointment to see Brother Matthew, and say, Pastor, my husband have a demon. He's a nymphomaniac. He won't leave his hands of me. You got to pray for him. Cast the demon out. And Brother Matthew says, I got the same demon. Can I hear an amen, brothers? Come on, Brother Matthew, help me out here. Amen, brother. That ain't no demon. All the men say amen. All the men say leave the demon alone. Your husband is not sick. He's normal. And if anybody here want to be too spiritual, any brother want to be too spiritual, if you don't have this same desire, you need prayer. Now, the question is, why is a woman's need not sex? A woman's number one need is not sex. Now, she, she likes sex. Sex is good for a woman. And she enjoys it. But it's not her motivational need. A woman's number one need is not sex. Write it down. Her number one need is affection. <laughs> affection is not sex, brothers. As a matter of fact, sex is the result of affection to a woman. If you give her affection, you will get your need met. <laughs> now, some of you ladies need some help. You go to bed in the night, you got on all these clothes, socks, long mitten dress, time on your head. You got wrapped up all around your body. The guy got to fight to find something. I mean, you got to stop this. All the men are shouting now, boy. <laughs> Ladies, you want to be a good wife? Make it easy. Go with nothing on. Say, good night, baby. Come on to bed. <laughs>